good evening friends in this video we'll discuss about static storage class features of a variable defined to have static storage class are as follows storage will be in main memory default initial value is zero that means if you don't initialize by default the variable static variable will be initialized to zero and scope is local to the block in which the variable is defined lifetime value of the variable persists between different function calls it means the variable persists in memory even if the control leaves the function the variable is available in memory that is called persistence so between different function calls we can access that variable without redeclaring it that is the property of static storage class variable then keyword used is static in lower case we should write a static now let us consider a simple program where we can use a static curve variable inside a function so i have written a small program containing two functions one is main function and the another one is increment function inside the main function i am calling increment function three times and i defined increment function with a static variable i initialized to one so inside this increment function i am printing i value and then incrementing i value then coming out from the function so how this static variable behaves inside this function that means when this function is entered at a different times during the execution of the program the behavior of this static variable and how it exists in memory that we'll understand now now let us execute this program if we execute what happens behind the scenes what is happening that we should understand now our program execution begins from main then the first statement increment function that means the function increment is called a first time okay when this function is called the control leaves the main function and enters increment function so from main the control jumps to increment function comes here then begins the execution of this increment function so inside the function we declared a static variable i with initial value 1 so what happens when this statement is encountered now for this variable i memory is allocated and uh, the value 1 will be stored in that memory then the next statement is executed print of percentage d i then the i value will be printed what is the current value of i in memory 1 okay so on the output we can see 1 printed then the next statement executed i is equal to i plus 1 that means i value will be incremented then end of the function reaches once end of the function reaches the control leaves this function and again goes back to the main function so from here again it comes back to main function okay so that means once the function uh, the control leaves this function 
this static variable is not removed from the memory. It persists. In the description, we have seen the variable persists. That means even the control leaves this function, the variable still exists in memory. So after this closing function, control goes back to main function. So where it comes, it comes to the second increment function called statement. So that means the function is called a second time. So what happens? Again, this increment function is called control from main function goes to increment function. So that means again, it comes to increment function. Then this is beginning of the function. But second time when it enters this increment function, this statement is not executed because this i is a static variable which is already existing in memory. That's why this statement is not executed. That means i is not reinitialized to 1. Already i contains the value 2 here. Okay. So that's why this statement is ignored by the computer. Then directly it goes to next printf statement, then prints the i value. So when it prints i value, it goes to the memory location of i and prints that value. So what is the current value in i? 2. So it prints this value to on the output screen. You can see 2 printed. Then goes to the next statement i is equal to i plus 1, i increments, i value becomes 3. Then end of the function reaches, control leaves this function. Even the control leaves, still the variable remains in memory, is available in memory. So again, control goes back to main function, then executes this th third function called increment function. So that means third time the function is called, again, control from the main comes back to increment function. So once again, the increment function is executed here. Okay. So this statement is not uh, executed as it is a static uh, variable. So directly it ignores this and goes to the next statement, printf percentage d i. So what is the current value of i in memory? 3. So on the output screen, you can see 3 printed. Then i increments, i is equal to i plus 1, i value becomes 4. Then end of the function reaches. So control again goes back. Then control goes to the end of the main function. That means your program ends. When the program ends, then this variable is removed from the memory. That's why lifetime of static variable we have seen as a till the program terminates, till the end of the program. Until the program ends, it is available in memory. So that means the function increment is called three times since uh, inside the increment function, the variable i is declared as static, then it is available in memory. And whenever you re-enter this function, the previous value of i it uses. That's why you can see the output printed as 1, 2, 3. This is the property of a static variable. Now, if you want to see the difference between automatic variable and static variable. Let us execute the same program with auto keyboard. What happens and what is the output displayed that we'll understand so that we can see the difference between auto and the static storage classes. So program execution begins from main. So first time increment function is called, then the control jumps to increment function, then begins the function. Now, assume that i is declared with the auto, store, uh, auto storage class. Okay. So since i is an auto storage class type, memory is allocated for i and the value 1 is stored in this uh, memory location. Then printf i. So what is printed? What is the current value of i? 1. So 1 is printed on the output screen. Then i value increments. i is called i plus 1. i value becomes a 2. Then end of the function 
reaches. That means the control leaves this function and again goes back to main function. Here main is called calling function and this is called function. So the control goes back to calling function again because the increment function is called by main. So when this uh, end of this function reaches, control goes back. When the control leaves this function, since i is automatic variable, immediately the memory for this i will be released. That means i from the memory is removed. Okay. So once the control goes back to main, just see here. Now the variable is removed from the memory. So second time, again I am calling the function, increment function. So what happens again? The function second time enters this function and executes this function. So Again, it executes second type, then control comes to this uh, increment function. And since the function is entered freshly, this auto int i is equal to 1 is executed as if it is a new function. So this statement is executed once again and uh, memory is allocated for i and this memory again initialized to 1. When you print i value, on the output screen, you can see one printed because what is the current value of i? One. So one is printed on the screen. i is equal to i plus one. i value becomes a two. Then end of the function reaches and control goes back to main function. When control reaches main or leaves this increment function, memory for this i is removed. So next time again, this increment function is called third time. So again, the function increment is executed freshly. So enters the function. So once again, this statement is executed as a fresh statement. So auto int i is equal to 1. Again, freshly, memory is allocated for i and the value 1 will be stored in that memory location. Then goes to the next statement, prints the i value. What is current value of i? 1. So 1 is printed on the screen. Then i is equal to i plus 1. i value becomes 2. Then end of the function reaches. So when control leaves this function, again, as usual, memory for i will be removed. So then control goes back to end of the main and your program terminates. So on the output screen, you can see 1, 1, 1. So what is happening here? Inside the function, if this variable i is declared with static, then the output was 1, 2, and 3. And if it is declared with a auto variable or automatic storage class, then the output is 1, 1, 1. Okay, so that means if a variable is declared inside the function as static variable, the memory for that variable still available, still available until your program terminates. Okay, but for automatic storage class variable, immediately once the control leaves this function, the memory will be removed. That is the difference between auto storage class and the static storage class. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video and click on like button.